Yes. Hello there foodies, it's your girl Klenam and welcome to my channel. Today on the menu we have meat pie and I'll take you through the process of not only preparing the dough but also these two types of fillings that are the tuna fish and the meat. So without further ado, let's get it started. First option of the day is our meat filling but before we go ahead do not forget that all the ingredients are in the description box below so check them out and also to save time you have to start with the dough and not the filling. Back to us, I'm going to stir fry my onion in two tablespoons of olive oil and when my onion is caramelized I'm going to add my meat and I'm going to let it cook for two minutes and then I'll follow with my carrot, my sausage, pepper, salt and stock cube. After letting cook for about 5 minutes, we are now going to add our cornstarch, half glass of water and our curry. The reason why we are using cornstarch is to obtain that moist and um, thick result, which is also going to prevent the filling from becoming dry after our meat pie is ready. And then we are going to stir till the water evaporates, leaving the creamy result that you see in the video. Done with the filling before preparing the dough, I want to show you the option number two, which is the tuna fish option. And it's more or less the same thing. So we are going to need some olive oil, a little bit more this time, half chopped onion. And then I'm going to follow up with my carrots, tuna fish and paprika. And then I'm going to let it cook for two minutes before adding my salt and the rest of the ingredients. Some tuna fishes are kind of salty, so before adding your salt, you just taste. So as you can see at this point, I added some salt to it and I'm going to add some water, my stock cube, which is kind of hard, <laughs> more water to help me melt the stock cube. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch for the same reason why we added it to the previous filling which is to maintain the moisture and then we're going to stir until the water is almost evaporated. It's finally time for the dough. You're going to need 500 grams of all-purpose flour to which I'm going to add my nutmeg, some salt, baking powder and my butter. It is now time to get my hands dirty and I'm going to mix until the butter is completely incorporated in the flour. I'm going to use my two hands and I'm going to rub the flour between my palms to make the merging much more easier. After the butter is well incorporated, it's now time to add my milk and then I'm going to continue to mix on the surface where it's much more easier to work. Remember to not stress the dough but just mix it gently. So 
So after mixing, we are going to obtain this smooth dough, which I'm going to place in the fridge for 30 minutes. For the next step, I'm going to need one egg. And as you can see, I sprinkled the tree with some flour. So 30 minutes later, our dough is ready and we can now roll and fill. When closing your pie, remember to press the edges to avoid it from opening while in the oven. So we are now going to brush the meat pie with our egg. This is to give it that brown color that you see at the end after it's baked. Now we are going to poke some holes in it with our fork. This is to let a little escape for the vapor that might create during the baking process so this is going to go into the oven for 35 minutes at 200 degrees and one of the reasons why we brush the egg on top of it is because when it turns brown as you can see in the video it means your meat pie is ready After all the effort, our meat pie is ready and this is what it's going to look like. This is the meat version and this is the fish version. Do not forget to let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below. As usual, if you loved what you saw, if you like what you see, please do not forget to support this channel by subscribing, sharing with your friends, giving me the thumbs up and letting me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.